guys, Cindy out of here with my RT Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, today we are going to talk about. Um, I might have to bring some of these out too. Hold on. Ugh. Bring some of my wood pieces out too. Okay. Um, today we're here for my year, 2017. This is for October, and we're looking at our book review. This book. Um, Hmm. I honestly don't remember where I got it. I probably got it at Half.com, which is no longer in business. They were part of eBay. Um, they started out just Half.com, and then eBay purchased them, I believe, and now they have shut down. So I don't know where I'm going to get my books from now on. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments below, because I hate paying full price for a book. I just hate it. Anyways... The book that we're looking at today is called Cut It, Paste It, Sew It, a mixed media collage source book. And it's edited by Chisa Itu. Uh, mm, I don't know. Um, this book, uh, I got it. It was copyright of 2009. Yeah, the original was a Japanese edition, and they've reprinted it into English for us. And what... What caught my eye on this book is the fact that they are using um, fabric as well as paper um, to do different collages. And this was what was really intrigued me is they actually used paper on this. Now my question is how are you going to wash that? I don't know. But anyways, um, and this is a couple little bags that they've done. And it's actually two uh, Japanese girls. Let me see if I can find their picture. Um, that are working in this book. I don't see one back here, did you? No. Um, there's two of them. And they talk, this entire book, they talk about how they do their collages, what they're thinking when they're doing their collages, using their paper and their, um, here they are, here's the two girls. Um, they do the artist spotlight, and it says wool cube wool, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's a business. Okay. Um, anyways, they talk about how they use their collage and their sewing and what they're thinking when they're creating. And this book, I actually, I, I've never sat down and read it from cover to cover. Okay. And I don't think I will just because I'm not that interested. But um, I draw inspiration from this book. And this right here is what got me um, today when I was looking at this book again. There's a few things in here that I've done. Um, just, you know, I look through this, I get an idea, I'm like, oh, I could do that with my tags, or oh, I could do that on a journal page, or no, that's not something I would do, but, um, you know, I just, I like this book for inspiration. It just has a lot of inspiration in it. They talk about the elements of the collage, they talk about, um, what they need to start, that, where is it, their startup kit, um, da -da 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 -da. Must be toward the back of the book. This is all projects. Um, they talk about different collage books uh, and what they're thinking when they're doing these collages. They use fabric along with the paper. And I think that's really what struck me with this book is the fact that, you know, they do use the fabric along with the paper. Um, here's the other artist interview. Um, and it, there's just a lot of um, just inspiration. All you have to do is flip through it. I mean, just flip through it, and the inspiration is all here. Another thing I thought was kind of cool about this book is there is, um, in the back, they have these papers. Now, I will not uh, use these papers, like, in a sew project because it's very, very thin. Um, these papers, to me, are more of a collage paper um, that I would glue down because they're, they're about the... Um, the thinness of origami paper. So if you know, you know how thin the origami paper is, that's what these are. So I definitely wouldn't use a sewing machine on them because I'd just be afraid that they'd tear. But they have really cool um, collage paper in here, which I thought was really neat. So I'll be using that eventually. Um, I'm not going to tear it out right now because you never know. I may end up deciding to give the book away. I don't know. But um, like I said, it's just a lot of inspiration. So what I'm going to do today, um, I always like to do a project in my book review. Like I said, these caught me today. So what I did is I've got out some supplies. Let me just set that aside. Um, I've gotten out some supplies here. Um, I've got an old envelopes, a bingo card. 
This is a blue chip savings uh, stamp book. Remember those? Oh my God, those were years. I remember when I was a kid, my mom used to have green stamps is what they called them. And we used to sit and, you know, glue them into the book. I've got some doilies here. I've got some fall leaves. I've got some black and yellow and green. I've got some orange. And this, uh, these two pieces actually came from my dear friend, um, Leslie McGrath. Uh, in a happy mail. Isn't that cool? Look at that. So that's metallic. So anyways, I have all this kind of goodies. And then I have some die cuts. Um, just some odd and end scraps. Uh, some wire. Twine. Whatever. Um, these also came from Leslie. I thought they were really pretty. So I'm going to try to use those. And then I just, I basically got kind of natural colored. Um, this is just out of my die cut scrap drawer. And what I plan on doing is I am going to take these scraps, I'm going to make some embellishments with my trusty little sewing machine. So um, I'm going to bring you out just a little bit, whoops, a little bit too much. All right, so you can see, and I'm going to fast forward, and then we'll talk about what we made at the end. So I will be back.
All right, so I've been having fun. Um, I only did three of these, and basically because I'm really not, you know, it's October, so I thought maybe fallish slash Halloweenish, and I'm not really a huge Halloween person. Um, so I just made a few of these. Uh, most likely they'll end up going out in the happy mail, which is is all good for me. But here they are. I just thought they were kind of cool. Um, I used some of the canvas corp fabric that I got when I was on their design team, and just some a. Uh, uh, piece of watercolor paper that had somebody had sent to me in happy mail and then just bits and bobs and fabrics and some doilies and some bling some die cuts and I just had a good time so all of this was inspired by this book again it's cut cut it paste it sew it a mixed media collage source book and what I will do um, I don't see where there's some. Um, that's all it says. It doesn't really say who who actually um, created it. It just says it's edited by Chisa, C-H-I-S-A. Last name is I-T-O-U. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this month's book review. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will talk to you soon. Don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. Have a great day. Bye.